like got the choice to say. But yeah, fourth quarter offense, uh how we're organized and the decisions we make, you know, in that stretch. And um, you know, um to me more importantly the game was not lost on the defensive side of the ball. Um in the second half, you know, we weren't uh, anywhere near where we, we want to be and uh too many breakdowns of our of our coverages that we work on. A little disappointing. Curious, what did Devin get? Done today. Yeah, he's, he's doing some light shooting. Uh, got in a little bit of our team drill work today, uh, so getting closer. Yep, getting closer. What's the status? What's the matter? Willis is doubtful. Yeah, it's just for him to move around. Yeah, he had expected soreness uh, from the game uh, last night, but, um, you know, uh, coming through pretty good. In the first half, especially when he really had it going, getting downhill. How much does his ability as a driver and cutter kind of provide the blows? One of the best players in the league. You know, he showed that in the first half. Eric, she was talking a little bit about building that chemistry with KD, knowing when he's cutting versus spacing. How have you seen it? Relationship that kind of ball? Yeah, it's, it's a work in progress, but uh, you know, it's really coming along. You know, I mean, he's a he's a great passer, and you know, KD has to be a, a back cut threat. You know, and um, you know when we have that threat, you know it opens up a lot of stuff and helps helps Kev get three coming through the ball as well. Josh, it feels like he's hesitated on a couple of threes. How did you talk to? Yeah, him about good that? shots, good shots. Guys, just got to shoot it with confidence. So one of the things that Kevin said after the game was that you know you just help your teammate on the game, but sometimes we can overdo it, particularly when you the wrong, and then that left guy is open. How much time is it trusting? Okay. Stick to your man. How much of it is helping that you got naturally? Yeah, well, with that? within our within our scheme and system, okay, we don't want to leave anybody open. Okay, but there are guys on the floor that you you want the ball to find, you know, more so than LeBron James. And um, sometimes sometimes those guys make shots. Now, you know, we we don't want the ball to find them wide open. You know, uh, you know, like Grayson had a had a great, you know, um, paint help close out late contest. That's what it should look like. Makes a shot, tip the cap to him. A um, couple of ones in the fourth quarter, we overcommitted and, and left them wide wide open, which is not what we not, not what we want to do. So, uh, a little bit of both. Yeah, we're just uh, we're building our cohesiveness. So it's going to come. It's part of that process. I think the guys are not having to do more in certain roles and then maybe not be able to back in the state. Yeah, that's part of it. But, you know, we, you know, we have enough to, you know, to be getting these Ws. Um, you know, just a handful of plays in each of these games away. Yeah, well, I haven't really dove, dove into them too deeply yet. But, um, you know, I view them as one of the best teams in the West. You know, I think they're, uh, they're, I, they're not an up-and-coming team to me anymore. And when you have a guy like Shea and, and what you know all, all he's grown into as an elite, elite offensive player, okay, and with uh you know the rest of the talent they have on the roster, um to me they can play with anyone and it's gonna be a tough battle. Kind of the hidden shots because I think you might be experimenting with the players in the starting lineup even last time and kind of his ground against the lot of times too, which is kind of disgusting. Yeah, he's doing a good job for us and, and rebounding the ball well too. You know, um, both both ways, crashing boards offensively, um, but giving us just more size. You know, uh, you know, we don't want to we don't want to be too small out there. You know, if we want to be an elite defensive defensive team, an elite rebounding team, you know, size helps. You know, I mean, it's more about commitment. But you know, Kate is extremely long and and is doing a good job with going on defense. Yeah, I mean that's what he's here for. You know, we need uh we need multiple guys to be able to fill that role and um you know and punish punish backside, you know, double teams or backside threes on the other end, you know. So um there's a reason we signed him and he's doing a good job. I asked you last night about uh, before the game, Drew's mobility and, and basically coming in to provide that spark and maybe coming in to help counter that length that OKC has, namely the Chet. So how does that help with, with him trying to stay out of foul trouble? How does, how does that yeah, and, and executing our, our, our scheme at a higher rate. You know, I think it's is is one of the things that, that uh, he needs to focus on. Um, 
but his length and athleticism is invaluable to what we're trying to do. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Yeah. Just getting my legs, man. Getting my body right. You know, new team, new environment. I understand for myself personally, it's going to take some time, but I feel like I look, you know, myself every game more. Um, obviously, the we love to win the game, but we didn't. Um, so it doesn't matter how I look. You're right, no excuse. Sometimes the, the bounce is not lucky. The one I, you know, I expected and I should grab it, but I didn't. So, you know, be better next time. What do you feel like hasn't gone your guys' way in fourth quarters? Is it the turnovers or just the most sporting fourth quarters? I mean, we're missing super max players, you know. It's as simple as it is. You know, when you have um, that level of players and they're not available, uh, you're going to, you know, obviously going to struggle some minutes. And um, fourth quarter got to be better, especially, you know, getting Brad back and KD playing the way he played. Um, it's not like you're looking for excuse, but at the same time, we know the the our three is gonna be healthy the way we want to play, and um, you know, still being said, we should win that game. Like the same, I felt like we lost in LA. The same feeling, sir. Like I think we we played three quarters extremely good for for being a lead, and you know, pretty much all the games we play, we've been you know up and then lost the lead, and and you know. I feel like we're sometimes we're too comfortable the the team we have that we can expect they're gonna get hot like at any time. Is that part of the challenge mentally, knowing what you guys could be, but having to take it a step at a time to get there first? I mean, uh, I'm just playing with these players that I'm like struggle to to think about when I need to shoot the ball. I feel I'm, I want to give them all this, my shots, but I just want to. So it's an adjustment. Um, at the same time, there's no excuse. We should be better, you know, in the four quarters because we have everything what it takes to be better. Um, and obviously the turnover part, you know, you know, we really emphasize that in the, in the meetings and, and, you know, practices. And you got to, you know, no matter what's going on, you got to get better. Not you, but everyone seems like it's trying to like scramble to find their role, and it's like changing every game. How difficult is that for the team? I don't think it's a it's a scramble. I think coach and coaching staff are pretty um, honest about roles, people. So I don't think we should be at the point. I don't know what my, what my role is. So at the same time, some nights my role change because some somebody hurt and. Uh, You've been asked to do something more in, in offense or, you know, defensive part. I think we should be straight as far as what our system looks like. We're just going to be better through 82 games. We're going to just sharpen that, you know, defense and have more, you know, an arsenal to have, you know, just zone and drop and at the level or whatever that, that coverage might be. But I don't think it's a it's an issue like some people don't know what their role is. We're all here for big three and that's, that's our life it is. Past couple of games, the first quarters have been good compared to the fourth quarter. But how has Cade's presence with his additional length and size helped compared to Josh? You know, when he was starting before the third year, the year. I think both guys did a great job. You know, Josh and what he does when he contain the basketball, play defense, and and Cade just. I think that's that's the game plan. You know, who matchups. You know, we play and go so decide the way he want to go with the starting lineup, and, and not necessarily you know Josh or or Kata we're gonna play, but at the same time they 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 stop and you know step up with the challenge and and, and do what we asking them to do. And I think you know from from both guys we are getting great looks and we can live with that. So make or miss. Josh and Kayla both hit threes from next How big is that for the offense of being able to find that other guy on the other side? I mean, perfect. That's what we, you know, trying to, to do. They double our stars, our best players, and you know, we, we're going to find these shooters. And think about that. We did, you know, how many games Devin Booker played and how many Bradley Beal played. So, and obviously, we don't want to, you know, for me personally, we don't want to 
losing home, you know, you know, event. I mean, I don't even know how to put it out there. I just don't want to lose home games. And for me, I'm still not comfortable. I feel like I'm still on the road. Like I'm trying to get used to the the crowd and, and footprint and, and I'm feeling the free throws. I'm like, damn, I'm at home. <laughs> like loud on the road. So I'm trying to really make myself comfortable at the same time. Um we been in position all these games to win the game and we just you know didn't close the right way. Hey Dave was talking about the communication process when you have the ball and you know, cutting versus spacing that type of thing. How has that been in terms of like, trying to get on the same page there? You know? Man, Katie mad at me all the time because he won the ninety nine percent of my balls and I'm trying to give it to him. Man. Seriously, like I feel like the way you know he plays, he complement the way I do play basketball too. So I don't necessary taking too personal you know, i think it's a it's a great goal to have a communication but at the same time i'm trying to be like passing the ball to kd but at the same time when i have a turn i'll be like man this i don't know even how to give him no more like it's some sometimes it just for me it was hard like when people guard him double him all night and we run the play i don't even want to run the play just bring the ball over and give him the ball already like we run the play to give him the ball and sometimes be like, nah, man, just I'm gonna bring it over, give it to him already. So it's a mix, and, and gonna, you know, obviously we are a brand new team to each other. Like we didn't know each other as far as human being standpoint and coaching staff, and like I understand that the struggle, but also understand that we could be in a different position in a few possessions, a few minutes. It seemed like you guys did a lot better job of cutting when you were at the top of the team yesterday. How have you seen that apply throughout the season? I mean, one of the reasons I'm here is to pass the ball and try to, you know, make these, uh, you know, our stars free more. And I think we're doing a good job so far. You know, even they didn't play a lot of games. But I feel like the more people understand who I am as a, as a player, they're going to more benefit of that, like moving off the ball and cutting and, and when the ball climb in, they know it's not over. They can they can still you know do something. You know, I'll just get set screens and play at a side like you know our offense is designed to you know move the ball more than than just isos. So hopefully you know down the stretch we can trust them. Okay, so you have a lot of lengths, you know, namely with Chet in the middle. So how do you look at this game compared to what you had to deal with? Yama, you know, last week with the Spurs. I mean, I'm just glad that the, the dude is healthy and, you know, playing his rookie year, basically second year. So you want to see people healthy no matter what. But as far as game plan, that doesn't change. We, we want to win the game, especially at home. I don't care who is out of size. Like LeBron, AD, Giannis, Dame, I, like... I don't look at that way, man. We have a our own team, and we just focus on ourselves. Thanks, yep. for many teams. And That's it, right? Yeah, and you guys yeah. have questions too. But like, what, yeah. what are the discussions like in these games today? Uh, I mean, that was it right there. He's been through it. Most of us have been through it, the ups and downs of the season. You know, obviously, we're getting guys back integrated in. Guys have been hurt, so it's gonna be up and down, but we'll figure it out. How do you feel about your role and how that's yeah. kind of evolved, especially over the past month or so? Um, I feel pretty good about us figuring things out. I think we all are still. Um, but as each game progresses, I think we're finally getting things click a little bit more. How do you change going from covering a Rose and just being late in the game yeah. and then last night battling LeBron? I mean, you yeah. got size, you got quickest, yeah. different styles of players. Oh, yeah, completely different style. The elite scores, um, all time short, uh, more all. Be all time scorer and one of the best scorers ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but it's a difficult matchup. Um, I'm ready for it all the time. So my role on this team is to defend and make it a tough. I'm gonna score since so it makes it a little, little bit harder. On when did that start for you? Kind of the love of defense or passion? Uh, I'll be honest, it was definitely not in high school or college. <laughs> I was mostly just a score, but if you want to win games, you have to be able to defend. And then with my size, my skill, my, my IQ, I was like, okay, I can be a really good defender. Everybody talks about San Antonio for their like development. Yeah. How did they help develop you? That was a big part of it. Um, I mean, that they've had that system in there for so, so long. I mean, they know how to develop guys. And you may not understand what they're doing at first, but then a few weeks or a couple months later, it's like, okay, I see I see the progression. I see what they were trying to teach me. So I owe a lot of credit to them, my uh, development as a defender. What's your biggest takeaway from Pop and Cal? 
he kind of handles you when you were there and what you brought here in the field. Well, I'll just say it's a, a lot of it is, is an IQ thing or a scout thing. There's knowing your match. Like, Jarrell's and LeBron are two completely different styles of play, so knowing player to player. You know, other four guys out there, too, knowing their strengths, like, whether they like to drive right or left, pull up this way or not. Um, all those things really take into account. So they're going to score, but if you can take away a couple of their easy ones, that's, that's really like you can do as a defender. So, literally, yeah. I felt really good. I felt really good. In and in out, felt felt good. I'll shoot it again. Um, confident in it. Felt good. I'm just curious, even when the when the brace is penetrating, are you like here? I I didn't think they were gonna pull in. I thought they were gonna let us get the two. Um, and then we'll play after that. So I was kind of, I was a little surprised, honestly, just because he everyone uh, kind of sucked in. Um, watched that on the film, and they all saw in the paint. So. But it's open. We not have a whole lot of time for another drive or another swing, swing with how many seconds left. So I shot it. Like any particular person that you look to growing up or as you're developing your game, defensive stopper. Um, not growing up as much, but in recent years, looking back, a lot of guys that really made their name on defense of Shane Battier and Tony Allen, or really even like Kev using his length. Um, a lot of this longer guys you can pick you can pick a lot of different defenders and what they do well yeah. i'm not the most physical defender but i'll leave long active defender. so like some that like a market starts really really physical i can take some things from but that's his style of defense it's not mine so more long guys paul george um Kawhi, people like that was there any time though tim they gave you some insight when you were in san antonio he didn't talk a whole lot <laughs> um but little things and he he was an all-time great defender it's some stuff you just can't teach um, being that size, but a lot of the same thing I said about um, Pop is the IQ thing, just knowing tendencies and stuff like that can go a long way. Phil needs to guys the most. Um, I think it's like mostly just a chemistry thing. Um, just not having a lot of time spent together, and now comes game not nine ten. Uh, coming up, we just got Brad back for the second game. Book's been out. Uh, Kevin's been consistent, but lineup. I wasn't playing. Now I'm playing. So it's um. A lot of uh, not roster turnover, but just just fourth quarter turnover. Uh, we'll figure it out in time. It's just a process. In terms of building that chemistry to the that play, where Nurk, yeah. I think it was first half, got the ball and it was not yeah. going to You made that cut, yeah. ball swung, downfield, over three in the quarter. Yeah. Focus when you read that play to make that cut. Yeah, that's kind of part of the progression of just us learning how to play together. Brad's an elite shooter. Um, from what I, I was on the wing, cutting from that slot, stuck in two. Um, Nerf found it, whoever swung it, found Brad in the corner. So that's, that's just playing the game, playing the game. How much confidence did that first game against the Spurs give you going into the starting lineup just yeah. the next game? Oh, it definitely helped with confidence. Um, I, I stayed ready and all that, so I was prepared for that moment. But my confidence is always high. I'm ready for whenever my name is called. Um, but that game definitely did help a lot. How much does – we talked about how your length like, makes a difference in terms of the forward spot on this thing. How much does you and Katie's length together on the defensive side of the ball? I think it's a lot. Anytime we come together, we can just switch it. Um, it makes it easier. It keeps everybody stayed at home. We're not – we don't get into any rotations. Um, that way, so it makes the defense of everybody else pretty easy, a, a, a little bit easier. What do you think about the, the concept of this? Is it kind of it grew on me. I actually kind of like it. Um, you can see, you can feel the intensity. It was a little bit higher than a, like a normal regular season game, but a little bit more on the line. So I'm actually really glad we implemented the core was cool, the jerseys, all like the whole atmosphere around it was really, really good. This early in the season. But the court and the distraction at all? But just the I, I thought it was what it was. But most of the games, mostly shot before a uh, pregame and then we played the game. It was fun. And even with the same purple colored jerseys, it didn't really make a difference. Yeah. So like Boise State kind of wild. Yeah, with the blue, blue field. field, yeah, same kind of thing. Same kind of thing. Yeah, it was we. It was pretty easy to adjust to. Thanks, kid. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh,